Hey, everybody in here. It's a dark and stormy day, but that's all right. That's all right. I can use the water. Well, actually, everything is full, but that's beside the point. I can still use lots of water. Sitting here having my coffee inside the tiny house. It is like 70 degrees in here. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I got a fire going because I need to make some fire starters. Since it's raining all day for the next few days, I figured I'd make a few fire starters. I've got dryer lint in here, some little paper in here, more dryer lint, all friends sent from Donna B, more dryer lint, last of the cotton balls. I've got some more paraffin wax too, so this is just one piece of it. I need to get that over there a little bit. This whole area is a mess. I don't care. I'll clean it up afterwards. But I need fire starters. I've got the front door open and I've got this window cracked too because it's like totally hot in here. But I need to make some fire starters so I'll have to make two. Yeah, look at that ugly weather out there. That's okay. At least it's not freezing cold. They're all done and ready to separate. I made a whole bunch of them. And the easiest way to get these apart instead of just cutting them is I just kind of like bent them. It's easier with two hands. Kind of bend them apart like that and then just bend them again and they come right apart. It's much easier than cutting and they stay together pretty well um, and they give you a little extra to light on fire. So I'm going to separate these and see how many I got. I started out with this many and now I got this many and oh my gosh I found two more trays. Man I made a lot of fire starters. I'm still going to break these up. I'll just put them in a little plastic baggie and put them up somewhere high where Junior won't get into him and try and eat him like he and Sonny did one day. So, yeah, I got plenty of fire starters now. I am just so very stoked about this. Remember that log out on the other side of my stream that had all those oyster mushrooms on it? Well, they're coming back. This was a big one. Well, not a big one, just a big enough. And so I went and harvested it and cut it into a third, and I'm drying it out. There were some the size about my thumb um, steel on it yesterday, and it's been raining. So I'm going to go check today to see if they're big enough, because I'm just going to dry them all out, along with all that woodier, black fungus, whatever it is you call it. Oh, yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. This basically cropped up overnight. I did not see it yesterday, so I'm going to get all of those. Um, I think those are turkey tail. I'm not positive. Multiple different kinds of mushrooms all over. But, yep, see these? They're getting bigger. Oh, yeah. They are definitely getting bigger. So, I don't know. I'm almost tempted to kind of let these go another day. I can't let the others go. I've got to get them. So, this is amazing. Not bad, but it is raining. It's going to take forever for these to dehydrate. So, I may end up firing up the wood burner, even though it's too warm for it. And putting them on a rack and dry them out that way. That worked really well before. And I got some nice big pieces. Yeah, I'm going to wait until maybe this evening or even bright and early tomorrow morning to go out and check those other ones. But I'm going to have plenty of oyster mushrooms. I have officially become a mushroom farmer. Remember this piece of wood? I had taken some wood or black fungus off of it. Well, I took it all out and I just kind of sat it up here for whatever reason. Just because I kind of like the moss on it. And I didn't think that any any more of these mushrooms would grow back. But look at they are. They're starting to grow back. And we've got some really nice ones down here. And I just got the end of that down in that. Well, it rained. It didn't have water in it. But it has water in it now. And they're all coming back. So I'm going to harvest the bigger ones and dry them out. And uh, see if I can get more and maybe go look for some more of the other limbs that I know had this uh, black fungus on it. Because these are really, really easy to dry out. I just can't believe it. Oh, I am so excited. I am on my way to becoming a mushroom farmer. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I found a whole bunch more limbs that has this fungus on it. And so I'm just kind of putting it in there. Not necessarily to water them, but um, I really scored big on this one. So that is awesome. There's a ton on this one as well. Um, down towards the bottom. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a whole bunch on the bottom of that too. So um, I'm going to let the rain on them because some of these are kind of, they've been in the dirt. So hopefully that rain will kind of wash them off. If not, I'm, I'll douse them with water before I take them off. And then just harvest them and dry them. It'll be interesting to see if I can actually grow these bigger than what they are now. 
So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Rain, rain, go away. Seriously, just go away. It is, at least it's not freezing cold like I said earlier. Anyhow, I'm just in here. The puppies are playing. <laughs> Messing up the floor as usual. So I've just been piddling around. Actually, I was outside a little while earlier when there was a break in the rain. And it seems like it's starting to let up. Um, so I need to go out and do something here in a minute. But um, I put a bunch of dishes out in that big wash tub out there because it, it filled up with water. And I didn't need to do any laundry. So I did a bunch of dishes. Um, I've been getting those mushrooms ready to dehydrate. I haven't taken the wood ear ones off or the black fungus. I don't think they're they're actual wood ear. I think they're black fungus. They're like cousins of one another, very similar in properties. Um, I'm not gonna take those off. I'm just gonna dehydrate the oyster mushrooms when they're done. I'll pull the pull the wood ear off. Hopefully it's gotten bigger. Um, but I've just been straightening things up, stacking wood. Um, rearranging some stuff and kind of just, you know, nesting sort of stuff. And I hate thinking about doing all that kind of stuff, but when I'm doing it, it, it feels really good, <laughs> you know. And then, of course, afterwards, I feel great. But just thinking about it, I mean, sometimes I get overwhelmed because there's so much work to be done on this homestead, and i got to do it all by myself. That's okay. I'm not complaining. But it's a lot. So, trying to prioritize things, um, so the inside of the tiny house has to be a priority. So, um, at the very least, if I can't get everything built up and finished, at least I can keep it neat and tidy. And it's really hard because with these puppies, the, the Papa and Junior, my floor is always a mess. I'm constantly trying to sweep and I just can't keep up with it, but hopefully that'll change. Um, anyhow, so I got the, uh... I got the Coleman camp oven up on the wood burning stove. I haven't lit a fire yet. I'm gonna wait till this evening. I hate to just burn a bunch of wood just to dehydrate oyster mushrooms when I don't really need it for heat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go out here in a minute if it keeps not raining and I'm gonna go check that log because those oyster mushrooms grow very, very quickly and they go bad very quickly. So you've got like a one to two day window to go and get them before they'll start getting infested or maybe just too big. Um, and Papa and Junior are eating together. Look at that. I gotta take that trash out. They are eating together and they are not snarling. I gotta fill up their bowl again in just a minute. I've been putting it down here just to make it easier for Junior, but he's big enough to now to where I could just put it over there. They're getting along great. So yeah, after they're done eating, I'm going to take them both out and uh, go check that log. Because if those oyster mushrooms stay on that log too long, they're not going to be any good. So, And I want them nice and fresh um, to dehydrate them. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. What do you think, guys? You want to go outside? And <laughs> They want to finish eating. I had to fill up that bowl again. Haha, <laughs> they're both still hungry. Anyhow, um, you know what? I think this video's got long enough, don't you? Yeah, I'll go out and check those mushrooms, and I'll let you know in the next video how it went. I mean, I know. I just know you're dying to know about more mushroom stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.